more than 20 years now, we've been hearing about the so-called little blue pill and its use by millions of men to treat impotence. And now, kind of a surprise here, Viagra is creating a lot of buzz at the Cleveland Clinic Lou Ruvo Center for Brain Health here in Las Vegas. News 3 Steve Wolford explains why. Sometimes you just never know where you're going to find the next promising medical breakthrough. Viagra, as it turns out, could someday help doctors at the Cleveland Clinic Lou Ruvo Center for Brain Health in their fight against Alzheimer's. So did they found maybe a possible or potential treatment for Alzheimer's disease? Dr. Feisheng Chang, a researcher at Cleveland Clinic in Ohio, with a surprising conclusion about sildenafil, better known as Viagra. Chang says it was included in a massive study to see which drugs might have other uses. We tried to use what we call the cutting edge big data approach we you know, created at a Cleveland Clinical, try to systematic way to look at about, you know, 1,600 FDA approved drugs. That big data approach analyzed several million insurance claims for prescriptions over a six-year period. It revealed Viagra users had a reduced risk of Alzheimer's by an eye-popping 69%, getting the attention of doctors at the Cleveland Clinic Lou Ruvo Center for Brain Health in Las Vegas. So this is giving us further impetus that we need to study this in, in larger groups of individuals with Alzheimer's. Dr. Aaron Ritter, a brain specialist at the Ruvo Center, says these findings don't suggest Viagra is a cure for Alzheimer's, but it might provide clues to prevention. Kind of found its clinical use from the side effect, which, which showed up in the clinical trials. So uh, we know that this, this chemical and the, the chemical that's in this medicine is helpful for for neurons, it's helpful for blood vessels, and it seems to be helpful for preventing Alzheimer's disease. And Dr. Ritter says each new finding provides more hope to the 45,000 Nevadans with Alzheimer's and their families. What I think this medicine shows is that um, this is a huge public health priority for the state, and so being able to continue to do clinical research and to be able to identify and treat people with Alzheimer's is a, a major priority of our center. It could take another year for sildenafil to find its way to clinical trials to determine if it can reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease. Even though the Ruvo Center may not be involved in that, they're always looking for volunteers over the age of 65 to take part in their own clinical trials to help someday conquer this disease. A case now of when a salad is more than just a salad. A specific salad is at the center of a lawsuit, believe it or not. Kate Munch breaks, breaks it down for us. This is Chop Stop Santa Fe Chop Salad. In it, you can see there's lettuce, corn, beans, chicken, avocado, but do these ingredients make it a Mexican style dish? Now that will be up to the course to decide. Cafe Rio Mexican Grill filed a complaint about its neighbor Chop Stop. In court documents, the chain restaurant says it signed a lease agreement that says no other restaurant in Town Square would sell Mexican or Tex-Mex food. Jeff Adelman, the attorney representing the landlord, says the restaurant Santa Fe Chop Salad is being referenced in the lawsuit. Chop Stop is not inherently uh, a, a restaurant that serves Mexican food. They serve salads, they serve bowls, many of which are from all over the world. In a letter written by Chop Stop owners, they say it's generic salads can't be categorized by Mexican or Tex-Mex. Cafe Rio was lease space first, and they were given an, an exclusivity right to a certain type of food in the center. And then when we leased space to Chop Stop, we told them, this is the right that has been granted to Cafe Rio. Don't violate it. Although the lawsuit is based on the lease, Adelman says the landlords don't want to be in the middle. They've asked a judge to decide. To get to the bottom of what makes a dish Mexican style, we visited head chef Renzo Barostegui here at Husan's Mexican Cantina in Summerlin. Mexican food is more, more traditional. For example, like uh, uh, you're looking for sopes, guaraches. He's considered an expert in Mexican cuisine. That's it. Uh, all right, so we got tortillas chips, some sauce. <clears throat> I barely can see the chicken. And also some avocado, yes. But uh, this is a... It's not a Mexican food, it's a Tex-Mex. Regardless of Chef Barostegui's expert advice, we know that it'll be up to the courts to decide what type of salad the Santa Fe Chop actually is and if Cafe Rio's lease agreement was actually violated.
A court date for this hearing is set for spring 2022. One local military family is fast at work preparing toys for the Christmas season. News 3's Lauren Clark shows you how these gifts go towards something that money just cannot buy. Four, five, six. For the Roberts. Seven, eight. Their toy business is all in house. Literally in the house. And then it's ready to go. A makeshift toy factory to ship out these little car world play mats. We made the ABC foam mats and the car rugs that have the roads on them. We basically took those and put them together. And put together in many ways. So you can puzzle piece the car roads how you want to. An idea that started, says Mom Chantel, when husband Zach, a drone pilot at Creech Air Force Base, was playing with their three sons. So one day he decided to paint the foam mats we had. He just flipped them over and he painted different things, and my boys were obsessed with them, and so were any neighbor kids that came over. Just ask son Austin, who can play for hours. Kids need that nowadays. They need to be able to get off the screens, and they need their brains to be thinking and playing and be creative. And But the Roberts aren't making these toys to get rich. Instead, they're making these presents. We have just felt for a long time that there's another child out there that we really need to have um, in our home with the hope that next Christmas, someone else will be present. We decided to start this business to pay for the adoption. The Roberts are wanting a little girl, but Chantel says she can't have any more kids and adoptions. Oh my gosh, they're so expensive. Which is why every penny, she says, will go to give a local girl a gift money can't buy. We pray for her every night and we hope she's doing good wherever she is, whether she's in heaven or already on Earth. The gift of a loving family. Hi everybody, I'm Reed Cowan from News 3 Las Vegas. We want to thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Remember, you can always see more of our videos by clicking on the video links. And also don't forget to click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of our YouTube updates. Thanks for watching.